Hi, thanks for stopping in. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Suffolk Susie, a backyard gardener in the suburbs of Long Island, New York. And I wanna thank everyone who left kind comments and well wishes. I truly am grateful for such a wonderful community, uh, for being part of such a wonderful community. So Long Island, New York, Northeast, the whole Northeast coast pretty much. It was hit fairly hard by the uh, tropical storm. Though not a hurricane at that time where it came by us, there were some 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Houses, cars, people were hurt. Where I live, traffic lights out for a few days, neighbors, grocery stores and gas stations still without power. For me, compared to others, hardly a scratch. A debris cleanup, some large tree branches and hedge damage. Still more to do, but I'm still harvesting and enjoying my garden. I'm okay. So the rest of this video is just a bit of what I've been up to in the garden. And I really appreciate you stopping by and watching. Have a great this day. This is Equinox Blue Gold Thistle. And this is what it's turned into today. Okay, okay. I was checking this out yesterday when a bumblebee stung me. I must have leaned on him because otherwise we get along pretty well. <laughs> and this is a thread wasted wasp on sea holly. Well, the neighborhood is buzzing with blowers, chainsaws, and such for the big cleanup. I took the cushions out of the shed so I can get the so I can get the blower out. This blower is pretty light. You know, I'm not a heavyweight. <laughs> It's a works 600 electric because I don't want to have to deal with gas and oil and running out of gas and so on and so forth. And it's been working pretty good. I don't think this is going to be too difficult for me. There you are. Barely have a scratch. Hello, Mr. Ducky, you okay? And look what bloomed this morning. Okay, yesterday I said this area was fine, but there are some things that need a little help. Like this branch, is it broken or just hanging low? Either way, I have to correct it. You'll be okay. These plants, try to get them a little upright and off the ground without breaking them. See, this is bent but not broken. So, I'll probably be getting more tomatoes. Well, they weren't this ripe the day before the storm, so they're sitting back here under all, this, all these branches, ripening. Which way is up? Let's go to the other side. Maybe I can 
take some of these cucumbers off too. I really don't want a lot of fruit laying to rot on the ground for the gnats and the mosquitoes. These are the Japanese tomatoes. They just turned a nice red. I thought they were going to be a little darker. Ooh. I like to grow the indeterminate tomatoes. They get over eight feet tall. <laughs> Leeks are over here. I didn't even look at those. Ooh, look at these leeks. Yoza. Oh. Oops, I'm breaking. I remember I was hesitating on picking this one. Well, I did hesitate, but look how big and beautiful it is. Ooh, that's a biggie. These are, yeah, boxcar wheelies. Don't want to scratch it with this other branch. See the bees are sleeping. They're nestled in there. Just sleeping under the leaf, sleeping. This is a mortgage lifter. I don't really want to wake up those bees. Oh, look at that big Rutgers there. Okay, cleanup just keeps continuing. This whole tomato plant here has collapsed. I don't know if I should try to prop it up or just let it be. Still producing beans. I'll harvest those. Now this trellis, as you can see, is now leaning to the right. It cracked. Did I show you I have two melons in here? One, two. <laughs> I've got to clear this out somehow without breaking any branches. I don't even know which way a branch goes. I think it goes this way. Oh boy. Here too. Looks like I got some cucumbers I can harvest. The bumblebees. I'm not happy that I'm here. I was already stung. I don't want to get stung again. There's a honeybee. I was stung by a bumblebee. Normally we dance around the garden together. <laughs> okay, these are boxcar willies I'm gonna take off. Plants just not looking healthy. I can let these finish ripening on the windowsill. And look through here, you can see some Abe Lincolns. Who are their beauties?
to get in here. Will you be okay and let me? Whoop. Buzzed my ear. One more. No. Yes, I cram a lot into my garden. Because this is the sunniest spot. Oh, this might be a one pounder. Okay, some green ones. There's a cucumber there to try to get. So, because I cram things in, yes, the disease comes to the plants early. Okay, I'm going in. There's a lot of disease, there's a lot of new growth too. And maybe I'll get some more cucumbers. But I'm gonna pull up these beef steaks. They got damaged and broken, so there was three of them here. I'm gonna pull them up and I'm gonna put silver slices there and see if I have enough time this year as an experiment for a full garden. You see my beans are doing good and my squash over there. Love Lies Bleeding became a tangled mess, the poor things. Totally, totally whipped around. Okay. Yeah, I could go around the other side, but there's more bees over there. Look at these Rutgers. Oh, I hope they turn green. I should try to pick this up, but they're doing good. <laughs> I'm afraid if I finagle with it, they're going to snap. Now that side collapsed. <laughs> well, hello, Melon. You still in there? Good. Okay, they're a little better in there. somehow because they're just hanging. And I can get my arms in here. Get these tomatoes when they ripen easily get to them. I can cut away some more uh, leaf branches as I come across them. Uh, 
And I can just slowly work on this, but I'm really glad how it is right now. So much better. Tomatoes have a chance and the melons have a chance.